Okay, hi guys, it's, we are back to Wolf Among Us, episode 2. So we're gonna just continue. What the hell is that? This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... What the coincidence? Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. What? <laughs> okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing, it really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Oh, yes, <laughs> but... Haha! just ignores you know, him. we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar, here. I'm really not in the mood right now. Well, I was in the mood to play darts, so I guess nobody's getting what they want. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. The toad was just here. Oh, damn it. You said it looked like Snow White. That true, love? Yes, it's true. So we were just wondering why, of all the possible suspects in Fable Town, why would you arrest the poor old woodsman, who you know had nothing to do with these murders? Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve? What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Holly. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? Vigenta. I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Oh shit. Boy, I sure walked into that one. Yeah, now you know. One more fucking thing. Just one more thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, bye Jack. God fucking damn it. Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. Shit, <sighs> they made mad. Yep, I made a mad. Shit. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I I didn't know she still had this. The copper was from a dwarf mine. 
That was decent of you. Grin. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Sometimes I feel like I should just finish reading what... Finish... I should just let them finish what they want to say, but it's just like, oh, that's the time to do it. And there they go. I don't know that much about our life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Do you have any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? Oh shit, I shouldn't have said that. What? Oh god. I'm sorry. That was probably about... She was hooking. To pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the puddin' and pie. The owner Georgie with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. Georgie. Hmm. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. Oops, sorry. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. Uh really. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there um is there anything we can do to No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise, or I don't know, some old world shit will fuck your soul up. <laughs> I'll check with the deputy mayor about that. He'd want to be kept in the loop. This is really important to me. Okay. Look, why don't you come down with me to the business office, and we'll see what we can do. Huh. That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. <sighs> I guess I made the right life choices. There's a lot of who oh, name what sort of name is pulling empire? That's ridiculous. Oh, it's the same ribbon. Oh, sheriff! What a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. No. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? Well, I'm looking for someone. Finding you someone is our specialty, but the club's closed. <laughs> Not quite what I meant. Holy shit, I like That's the poster at the back. I guess you'd better talk to Georgie. Shoot the thunder, man. Yeah. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. Oh my god! <laughs> the posters! <laughs> I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. No, you don't. <laughs> so I've heard. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie. Holy shit, where the we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. 
Your pleasure is our pleasure. Well, I like your posters. Your desires are our desires. I don't care. Did you know Lily? She worked here. <sighs> My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. Oh, so this one's good. Oh, hi. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Oh, wow. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. <laughs> I like you it. Fucking dozy bitch. Nice guy. Seems like a real prince. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Good luck. They say this nude in this game, but okay. Now I see it. Like smile. You never smile. She's not smiling. How many times do I have to say it? Wow, this is a good instructor, but. You're supposed. Oh no! Ah uh, no! <laughs> I'm gonna take a look at the posters in the oh, back. It's you. Hi. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. You, Georgie. Brilliant deduction, Sheriff. Oh, thanks. What do you want then? You here for a little taste? No. Tell you what, come back after midnight maybe. I can hook you up. Or uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. I'm not here for that. Ooh, take a beating? I'm not here okay. for that. <laughs> you just stopped in for the chips then. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it though. No, seriously, I love it. The poster is distracting, oh my god. Okay, alright Sheriff, just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Oh really? When did you hear about it? Listen Sheriff, around here we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamoured. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamoured to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. You know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. Oops. The thirteenth floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. Um. He used to be something, you know. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? Oh, hey, if you say so. Just looks like hair to me. Anyway, even supposing she was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. I don't need the trouble. For who, then? I don't know. She had clients. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Oh. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on then. Hi. You're gonna hit me. Go ahead. That's what you wanna do. Uh, no, no, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna do the same mistake. face where I can't see it. Bloody bastard fucking shit. You proud of yourself, mate. Proud of your little mess. Fuck's sake. Holy shit. He looks like a certain... <laughs> he looks like a certain cap... A certain... Commander. 
Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills. Oh my god. a fairly good idea where to start. There's a lot of... Hey, SM. that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. I didn't choose this. Tell me about the book. Oh, okay. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey now! Okay, I'm not gonna break anything. Come on. Let's be nice again. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Oh, Lily. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Look, Georgie. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Well. Well, well, well. Well, well. What's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. <laughs> oh my god, excuse me. <sighs> Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus. You're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. Oh my god. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Bloody come on then! Prick. <gasps> Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Oh, they have money. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie. Who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. Hey, Snow White. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths, and Joneses, and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Oh really, I didn't even smash anything, God damn it! I made a better life choices for oh, once. Business office. Oh, seriously? Georgie. <laughs> fine. Fine, fine. Huh. 
Mummy. Fifty-eight. Hmm. Oh my god, are you? Yeah, that's right. Okay, okay, we're not gonna take the money, okay? I, 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 Big B is a cop, okay? <laughs> Big B is a sheriff, he's not gonna to the take the money. Man. Let's talk to the girl. Lily is empty. How about this one? Faith. Lock's been busted open. Broken open. But there isn't even a lock. Baby is magic. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Faith. What's that? Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Well, that jibes with what the woodsman told me. Oh shit, my life. There was the girl. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. What? Once upon a time. Does that help? You should leave the mermaid. Call you now. Ariel. Whatever makes them happy. You guys can sad. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Well, fine by me. Uh... I need to know about one of Lily's, uh, clients. Calling himself Mr. Smith, apparently. We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. Oh, he's so aggressive. My god. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an... Appointment with me. I don't have money. Wow, wow, wow. What exactly are you suggesting? We could make all the usual arrangements, the usual place. Oh, I see. <laughs> what would I need to do? I need a hundred and fifty. It's not good to be short. I'm broke. I'm kind of broke. Wait here for a second. Wow, I feel sad now. Big piece of sheriff, yet he doesn't have money. Don't they even eat? Whoa. Not 207? You'll think of something. Yeah, we can do that. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for.
world. Police, really? Why is it so empty here? Hi, Soda. Yeah, she'll kill you. What really? But you're smoking. How dare you? Cola isn't really nice anyway. Ha ha ha. Anyway, let's do like this. I should probably repair that. Oh, this is one shitty hotel. Are you shitting me? If the rooms are anything like the lobby. They should cut their rates. Yeah, true. No refunds. Okay. Want it by the hour or for the whole? Oh night? my god, it's beauty. Oh, uh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. I know I should have told somebody. But Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. Hey, no problem. So, what are you doing here? Oh. You have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but... she came off a tad intimidating. Oh. Ever see... Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe... On a job. Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Um... Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Yep. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. It's okay. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Okay, this... Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Oh, seriously? Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. You better... Well, here we are. Which one was it? Excuse me. Anyway, we're going to listen in to 207 for a while. Nothing. Well, you can just lie, don't we?
Actually, yeah, I don't think we can actually do anything with the inventory, don't we? Right. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Oh, not to this one. Hold on, Big B. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. Please. Oh, fine. <laughs> She's so nice. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Big B? Oh, no. How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? Well, I... <laughs> no, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! This is a murder investigation. She's helping me- Stop lying to me! Well. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not- <laughs> Aw, oh, damn it. Master! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! You've been sleeping with her this whole time! Wow. Listen to your wife. His assumptions are Calm so incredible. Ah. Wait, wait, really? Really, Beast? What the hell what do the you fuck, think you're man? doing? You aren't even listening to me! Uh, uh, oh! I told you to stop! Look at you! This is how you handle things! You're defending him? I'm trying to explain! Wife, Why have I even done to deserve this? God damn it! Do we really have to fight? Ah! Please! Leave him be! This is my fault! Please, no! Understand! Oh my god! Oh my god! Seriously, why have I done to deserve this? God damn it. Oh my god! I'm so sorry! Oh my god! No, no! I did not plan for this to happen! Bigby, no! Don't hurt him! <sighs> oh no! Oh, 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 oh you piece of shit! Everything! I think. Jeez, my f okay, we got it. <sighs> We're not supposed to do that. <sighs> Damn it! Shit, Big B. What have you done? What? What is this? Oh, Big B. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you. Stand back! You you don't want to see this. <sighs> well, Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god! Don't touch anything. Is this. Is this. Lily met her client here, Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then. It must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. <laughs> I work the front desk. I... So that's... My god, yeah. Beast, you Still, shit! This is no <laughs> place for someone like you. I mean, look. Can we please not talk about this? Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? There might have been some loud noises. I, I, I don't know. I mean, loud noises aren't out of the ordinary. I didn't hear anyone screaming or anything like that, but... Shouldn't I have? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? My god, Beast. So aggressive. Bigby. What kind of a person could do something like this? 
That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. <laughs>